The beautiful and biodiverse coastlines of southern Cornwall are home to some of the richest marine life in the UK, but the animal that I am most interested in is the rather elusive red-billed chuff. I'm Chrissy Middleton, and over the next few months I will be here on the Cornish coast studying the chuff as part of my master's degree with the University of Exeter. And I want to bring you along with me to try and show you what life as a conservation student in the field is really like. So I'm about halfway through my master's degree in conservation and biodiversity, which means just one thing, it means it's thesis time. So for the last few weeks, I've been busy preparing for three months of data collection out here on the coast. I start this week, I hope to finish mid to late June, and I really just want to share with you the research that we're doing. This is a really exciting opportunity to contribute to the conservation of a threatened species right here on my doorstep, a species that's also truly iconic down here in Cornwall. There's a robin. Um, uh-huh. So why is this bird so important? Back in the 1800s, farming practices in the UK intensified, and this caused a huge alteration in habitats. As a result, the chuff underwent a rapid decline, and by the mid to late 1900s, they had disappeared from the Cornish coast completely. However, in 2001, the chuff returned to Cornwall. Since then, the population has been growing across Cornwall with the help of the Cornwall Chuff Project and agri-environment schemes run by the RSPB and the National Trust. Even still, our knowledge of the chuff and its ecology here in the UK is still rather limited. My plan is to build upon relatively recent research that's been done by University of Exeter students. Um, and to look at their feeding ecology. So more importantly, whether there's a difference between their feeding before their nesting season and during their nesting season. As we all know, science is unpredictable. Looking for wildlife is unpredictable. I have no idea how the next few weeks are gonna unfold. But what I hope to do is to update you every week with a weekly vlog about how the project's going, update you on how our week's been, tell you what we're learning or what we failed to learn. Fingers crossed that's not the case. And hopefully I can actually tell you that we've seen some chuffs At the least, I'll hopefully be able to showcase Cornwall's stunning coastlines and we'll be able to see some really cool British wildlife along the way. So until then, I'll speak to you soon and thanks for listening.